Hey guys, so it's me, uh, looking a hot mess, but I am, um, packing for IMAX, getting things together. Um, I'm actually packing up the makeup I'm going to wear right now. It's just easier to do it, uh, today, today's Sunday versus, um, in the week, like after work and different things. So anyway, I think I got everything covered. Honestly, it's a little, it looks like a lot laid all out, but it, it's minimal for me. I could have put a lot more choices in here. I tried to minimize situations. Um, but I'm going to show you guys everything I'm, I'm packing and um, show you once I pack it away and everything. So, we're, again, I'm going to New York. I'm going to be in New York for five days. And so I've kind of bought five days worth of makeup. The most important days that I'm wearing makeup, of course, is eye mats, which is Saturday and Sunday. And I did a colorful look. By the way, that colorful look that I was wearing in my live video, I filmed a tutorial and the file was all messed up. So I'm going to um, have to film that again. I'm sorry, and I don't know when I'll get around to do it. But however, if I do that look at eye mats, you'll see it and I'll show you. Um, but yeah, I was so upset. I was editing it yesterday and it got all messed up. So anyway... But um, for my eyes, one day I think I want to do a bright look, so I got some things for that, and I think I'm going to do neutral. I don't know, but I'll just explain as I go. All the bases covered everything, and I'm going to show you everything that I am bringing. So, let's do it. <clears throat> so, here is, oh, and let me get the camera right. Let me get it right. So, here's an overview of it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a lot of crap, but I kind of spread it out too. So we'll start here in the eye section. So I have brow products. A brand new Anastasia Brow was in chocolate. Uh, my angled brush and spoolie along with some dip brow and chocolate. I don't know which one I want to use my brows. Brow gel and a couple brushes for my brows along with the concealer. This is MAC Studio Finish that I... um. Sculpt my brows with. I have a brush here. And I kind of put the brushes that I use, you know... Um, for the bait, for the bright look, um, I need a matte base, so this is a Maybelline color tattoo and a matte nude, and then I have a white shadow to set the base, and then for the bright palette, for that tutorial, I use the Take Me to Brazil and the Urban Decay Electric. However, I'm taking the NYX Ultimate because it's just as good, and it's smaller than two big palettes. And I have a couple of the NYX Vivid Brights to use as bases if I want, this is a bronzier one for my neutral look. And then... The neutral palettes that I'm taking, honestly, I took the Sweet Peach la Sweet Peach last year and it was a knockout. Like, it did everything I needed it to do. So, I'm taking the Too Faced uh, Sweet Peach palette. Let me open it up for you guys. I'm doing this with one hand. This is what it looks like. So, I'm taking that. And then I was thinking the neutral look the next day, I would like a um, gold. So, I'm taking the Lorac Unzipped Gold. Okay, hold on. Getting it out. I'm getting it out. <laughs> the Lorac Unzipped Gold. As well as uh, Elf Lustrous Eyeshadow. It's like a goldy, sparkly cream topper. I have a black eyeliner. Where is it? Um, my black pencil liner. Brown pencil liner. Black liquid liner. It's NYX. And then a blue liner for my bright look. As well as some tape to make my wing. I have a small sample of just a Lancome mascara because honestly, I don't care about mascara. Like if I'm not wearing lashes and I'm just doing a makeup look, I'll forget mascara and not be upset about it. I also have a pencil sharpener. I'm sorry, pencil sharpener for my pencils as well as a little teeny eye primer. I got so many uh, Urban Decay eye primer samples. So I'm going to take one as well as some eyelash glue. I think I have enough of my favorite eyelash glue salon perfect and I get myself together to last me but just in case I have some um eye lower lash glue as well so for lashes I gave myself some choices oh here's my eyelash curler so for lashes I gave myself some choices because I don't know I mean I'm indecisive with my lashes and so it was kind of like you know well I don't know <laughs> so I got four choices here I have the Coco Lashes in Goddess. These are what they look like. I have the Coco Lashes in Queen Bee, my favorites, of course. And the Coco Lashes in Soho, which is my other favorite. As well as the Vegas Nay Double Up Eyelore Lashes, because why not? And then here are all my eye brushes, crease brushes, smudge brushes, flat shadow brushes. I am bringing some brush cleaner um, to clean my brushes every day. But those are the eye brushes. 
So that's for the eyes. Now for the face. So I have moisturizer, I have my toner, I have some rose water spray, some Fix Plus, and some L'Oreal setting spray. Those are the sprays I'm taking. For primers, I'm taking the Urban Decay D De Slick, okay? As well as the Makeup Forever um, Step 1. Okay, so for foundation, <laughs> um, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Pro Matte and Pro Glow. These do it for me. Full coverage, beautiful finish, and they're in squeeze tubes, which is good. And I'm also taking, this is a last minute decision, the Clinique Chubby in the Nude Stick for a lighter day. Like, if I want to put some makeup on. This is quick. It's a stick foundation. It works. Um, and it will be combined with this Laura Mercier powder, which is the um, Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. It's a, it's a light powder, but it really perfects and makes sure you have a little pretty soft finish. So anyway, then I'm going to have for concealer. So I am bringing this palette. You know this is my favorite color correcting palette, my Pantone. Oh my God, this one hand crap. This, I'm taking this with the color correction, and there's a lot of concealers in there if I need a skin tone or something. Also, my mom's coming, Lorenda's coming. Lorenda is darker skin, and I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know. I'm like, oh, you know what, this palette will probably come in handy between the three of us anyway. So, but, bringing my color corrector, and then there's more concealers in there. And then, you know, to highlight, I'm bringing three, no NARS Radiant Creamy this year, uh, Cav on D. Naked Skin and Tarte Shape Tape. Those are my concealers. Uh, to set my concealer, we have Ben I Banana for baking and then just the Black Radiance Soft Focus to for a normal setting. And I'm also bringing my Makeup Forever Super Matte Loose Powder. That's the rest of the powders. <laughs> and contour. I am bringing one palette. I was thinking about what kind of contour. This is my classic Black Radiance. It does hit for me. It works. It's doing it. Um, also, for blush, I'm bringing two MAC Raisin. It is... Wait a minute. It is ride or die. <laughs> it goes with any look. It's MAC. And I'm bringing what I like to call... Hold on, let me open it. This is MAC's Raisin. And what I like to call the shimmery equivalent to Raisin is MAC's Amber Ring Rose. So if I want a little bit of a satin shimmer blush... I just have those two. Now, highlight. You guys will be really proud of me. I was going to bring a glow kit, but there wasn't a glow kit that had what I wanted. So, I want like a rosy gold highlight and a gold highlight because those are the two that will go with either look. So, my rosy themed one is going to be the Makeup Revolution Shimmer Strip in Shimmer Brick Rose Gold. That's what I'm bringing. And I'm bringing MAC Gold Deposit. That's it. And then for lips, I have my Glam Glow Scrub and Lip Balm. And then I have three lip colors. That's it. I, I have lip gloss in my purse, so I'm bringing a plain lip gloss. Put it in my fanny pack. But I have my Nude. is the Wet n Wild Cat. Let me. Wet n Wild Cat Suits in Give Me Mocha. Nude lip. Um, I'm wearing, I'm bringing Katrina, because that's my favorite, LA Splash. And I'm bringing a purple for the bright lip, and I'm bringing two lip balms. This is from Wet n Wild. This is a plain lip balm, and this is a little pinky tint for it, again, for the light day. And then those are my various face brushes, powder, setting, buffing, highlighter, blush, you know, and some sponges, of course. And that is it. So what I'm going to do now is pull out like, all the makeup bags I have and see what I can fit in the least amount of space and try to fit everything nicely. And I'll come back really quick and show you once it's all uh, packed up. But yeah, that's all the makeup I'm bringing to eye mats. I'm be honest, I'm proud of myself. I know the average person is going to be like, that's a lot of makeup. But for me, for five days, I think it's spread out so it looks like a lot. But I think I kind of did it. Alright, so I'll be back. Okay, you guys. So... One thing I want to say, um, we are traveling in a car. It's it's not a big car. It's not a super compact car. But remember, we're going out to shop, purchase a lot of things. So we got to pack light, meaning one bag a piece. 
So I told you guys in my what my favorites that I'm carrying a duffel bag, a Betsy Johnson duffel bag. So I kind of need all my makeup to take up as least amount of space as possible in the bag so I can fit everything else. This bag is an Estee Lauder. The tag is even still on it. The It's an Estee Lauder um, cosmetic toiletry bag. I actually found it at a thrift store for about $3. And all the makeup, including the brushes, um, fit in here. Okay, it fit in here. <laughs> and, um, yeah, the brushes are all in the zip part right here in the top. The brushes are all in there. And I'm going to tell you something. When I open this up, it's not pretty. I kind of stacked my palettes on the bottom and tried to make it as neat as possible, but I wanted to get it all in. It's not pretty. Now, I'm not flying, I, so it'll be in the car. Everything should be okay. It'll be wrapped in my clothes and everything, so everything should be okay. Um, I didn't bring a lot of glass items or things, you know. I'm pretty sure I should be okay. Knock on wood. Haven't had any makeup casualties while traveling. Um, so I'm opening everything. It, it's not pretty, you guys. It's not pretty. Check it out. Everything fit. Eh. The top looks messy, but the bottom it's all stacked up. Check that out. Everything fit in here. Now, of course, when I get to the hotel and I, you know, set up a little area to do my makeup, of course, you know, you pull everything out and everything so it'll only be in this bag really I probably won't work out of this bag you understand so um I'm trying to zip it up with one hand and it's just not being my friend there we go and it's so tightly packed that even if I carry it like this I don't fear anything's gonna break and that is my makeup for eye max that worked it out so stay tuned for um, my ultimate what I'm packing video that'll be soon, but yeah, that's what I'm taking um, If you have any questions comments concerns about it, go ahead and leave them down below. I love you all and I'll talk to you guys in the next one Bye